The title of this video is not Skinner's Self-Management. However, you might be able to interpret it as such if you uh, um, pay close attention. There are two terms in this video. One is the controlled response, one is the controlling response. The controlled response is the response that you want to control through the controlling response. This is what self-management is all about. You emit a response, controlling response, in order to control another response, the controlled response. So, if I was trying to quit smoking, all right, so because I want to reduce that, right, because I have a behavioral excess and I want to, ooh, there's another term we should define later. I have a behavioral excess, we need to get rid of it, so we need to decrease smoking, so I'm smoking. I need to engage in a controlling response to decrease this controlled response. So what could I do? I could break my cigarette. Ah, it's good! Or I could... Hit myself on the head. Ah, that hurt. I should put my cigarettes down. Or I should just not go buy them. The controlling response is the response that you need to learn in order to control the behavior that is the problem. There's a little trick here, though. It's a pain in the ass <laughs> to learn how to do controlling responses. And there's a whole bunch of problems with, with this. And, and self-management is very, very challenging. But we need to know what the two core components that Skinner talked about are with regard to self-management, which was the controlling response one that you emit to control a particular behavior. You control the problem behavior. That's what we're after. So it sounds like there's a lack of control. Pretty much.